Well, good afternoon. It's Sunday here on a beautiful day. It's September and uh, I'm out for a little motorcycle ride on the WR250. I'm just south of Hayden right now on uh, County Road 53. I'm getting ready to head on over, I think, out toward Hamilton and uh, out toward Meeker and follow the White River on uh, County Road 8. Heading, I guess we'll be heading east make a little ride out of it. I haven't got much time today, but I was bound to determined to go out riding today, but as usual, I couldn't find some of my stuff I wanted to ride with. I don't know where it went, so we'll just make do, but anyways, we'll take you along, and we'll go see some hills and stuff like that, and putt around on the little Yamaha, so I'll catch you later down the road. See ya. Jim, welcome to the channel. I'm just heading out south from Hayden, Colorado, out of County Road 53. And my plan today is to ride a circle route. From, so we're going to head on over to Meeker and then come on back to the uh, Flat Tops Wilderness Byway, drop into Fishburg, Colorado, and then from there we'll go on down to Oak Creek and come on back to Hayden. So. Anyways, this is kind of an introductory to myself and uh, the Jim Payne YouTube channel and what I'm all about. But currently, I'm just here riding my WR250R. And that particular motorcycle is a 2016. And I'm running a 48 tooth sprocket with a 13 on the front. Which originally, when I bought the bike, the fellow told me it was really, really set up the motorcycle for the Trans America Trail. Well, as the Continental Divide ride, so it's just an ideal bike to take out on these type of roads. And I just really enjoy it. Well, we're on County Road 29, headed for Hamilton now. Well, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I have been wanting to go for a long ride on my WR250, but I did not get the chance here with the summer of 2020, with the pandemic and those type of things uh, changed my plans. But I did ride the Cottonelle Divide ride just earlier this year. That was quite a fun, bunch of fun. I uh, rode on the KLR650. Anyways, off to my left there, that's the Williams Fork uh, River, just off to my left. And, uh, we'll be coming up to the town of Hamilton here pretty quick. But anyways, I did need to get my WR ride in today. It's just about hunting season. This could be one of my last opportunities to get out and go for a good motorcycle ride. And I wanted to make this loop today, that's for sure. Well, we're just getting off uh, Highway 317. We're getting ready to head south on 13 and go to Meeker, I guess. We're going to go through the little town of Hamilton. I think this is a Williams Fork River there. Kind of down and out.
Well, anyways, this little Hamilton store has been for sale for years right here. It just seems like it'd be an ideal little place for a little store, but maybe it's uh, going to be opened up again. I don't see the for sale sign there. I'll be damned. Well, we're going to head on up to Port uh, Beaker now, so stay tuned. We're heading south on Highway 13 now in Moffat County. And this is a road for all motorcyclists that is just infested with big game animals most of the year. So you really got to be watching for game when you're riding on this road. They can jump out on you anytime. And this goes for Highway 13 south out of Craig and also 13 north out of Craig. Well, folks, we're in the uh, town of Meeker. I just came in to top off on some gas. I want to get some uh, ethanol free before I head up over the mountains over towards Yampa. But I don't know if they've got that in Yampa or just pick, pick some up here and I'll have plenty. Plenty to go. Let's see if I can find me a pump. We got about 75 miles to gallon coming over from Hayden to Meeker on the back road, just keeping it under 60. 75 miles a gallon, that works for me. So we're going to head on over to our County Road 8 now and head over toward Yampa. We're just getting off of uh, Highway 13 and we're headed uh, east on Rio Blanco Road number 8 and just off to my right we will be coming up on the White River. And this particular road here is a very nice road to ride and you can take even your uh, ATVs on this road here in Rio Blanco County. You can ride this road on up to the uh, trails that are just east of us here and just ride all over the country. I've got also the Miller Creek Basin that's off to my right, and that goes on up in the flat tops around Trappers Lake and that part of the country there. So this is all beautiful dual sport country, ADB, riding, four-wheelers, UTVs, you name it. And along the highway off to my right, there's places to pull off and fish. I guess they got these white fish in there as well as trout. And a lot of different fish. As long as I've lived here, I really never got to fish the river. It's been quite a while since I've done it. But I just don't get the time. I mean, I do a lot of riding, a lot of four-wheeling in this part of the country. I do travel all over the area here. This is one of my playgrounds just out of Meeker. And then, uh, so that's about it. Well, folks, we're here about at Avery Lake. I wanted to take a break, have a candy bar. Show you a bit what it is over here. It's kind of down. It looks like the lake is down pretty good. Wow. That car down there is in my camping spot there, usually where I go. and used to camp there quite a bit. to take a break right there, but
let's see, I need to get a little privacy up here. my candy bar and I'll be we'll be on the road just a quickie this is Buford Colorado They're getting ready to take the sheep out for the year. I think like September 15th or something, the sheep need to be out. Well, we're just climbing up the hill, folks. Pretty heavy pea gravel going up the hill. I just thought I'd show you what's down below. Pretty neat. All right, let's go on up the hill here. Probably climb this in third. Pretty loose gravel. Take your time. Don't crash. It's... Gotta stand up and go up the hill. Getting into Route County instead of uh, the Meeker area. Rio Blanco County allows ATVs, but uh, not Route County. 
very well. Well, I can tell you a little bit about my riding ability. I ride uh, pretty conservative nowadays. I, I did have some hip surgery a long time ago. It was a pretty brutal hip surgery. And I had to have what they call an orthopedic nail in my butt for just about a year sitting on that. It was quite a, quite a surgery. So I really don't want to have to break my hip again. And I don't want to go through that. So nowadays, it's kind of like a government. For a governor that I have built into my mind, I suppose I just don't ride really rough roads to where I can have another fracture. So I kind of stick to the backcountry roads, uh, easy logging roads, things like that. Kind of where I'd say that I'm a point A to point B rider. I enjoy in the evening just going to a campsite, firing up my jet boil, and kicking back in my chair and relaxing. There's a lot of rides like this one. I do solo, so I don't really go out with a lot of people riding, but I enjoy um, my video work and photography. And a lot of times I'm doing a lot of the video and photography. It slows everybody down in a group, so I just tend to go off on my own here and take my sweet time and enjoy the ride. Um, probably what I'm looking at doing, you know, when this pandemic gets done with, I've still got the Trans-America Trail that I want to ride. And I'll probably be doing that on the uh, WR250R as well. Uh, uh, take along my uh, drone, take that, and take some shots, and see how long that ride. I'm kind of thinking of riding my Utah Idaho for a for somewhere 10 days to two weeks, but I still got to come back from Fort Orford, and I'd like to go down to Nevada and see some things over there. And then come on back to Colorado. Coming up here later September, I'll probably be pretty much putting the motorcycles away and uh, getting out my uh, camper. I've got a 20 foot uh, toy hauler and I'm going to haul on up into this area, not too far from here, and I'm going to take a week off and just kick back and my best buddy will be coming up from Loveland. And we'll take the four wheelers up there and then we'll go grouse hunting from day to day. That's what we like to do up in these aspen trees. There's a lot of blue grouse up here in the area. And we'll just take the four wheelers out early in the morning. We'll climb up the, climb up the pass and we'll hunt birds in the morning. Come on back to camp, do some cooking, put out the lounge chairs, relax, sit around, just relax and just enjoy all this forest up here. It's just, just really nice to do. So I'm looking, that's probably my next activity and then from there we'll go on to the big game hunting seasons this, this fall. So that's kind of what the schedule's looking like. So I had to get this ride in today. I'm out, I'm out most of the day here riding. And I didn't get to go out and take my long WR250R ride this year. I really wanted to do that, but didn't get to. I own this bike now uh, close to two years and I haven't got even a camping trip with it yet. I've been out on the KLR650 quite a bit out on some long trips out camping with it, but the WR, shucks, <laughs> I haven't got to do it. So, uh, maybe next spring we can get out and do some riding and get that tad in or what have you. Coming down from Dunkley Pass in the uh, Yampa Valley, I guess. Windy little road down into Yampa. We're not far. Maybe one and a half miles. We got to be in town.
And then like I was just telling people on the smartphone, we're here in Pittsburgh and we're heading north on 139. Take it back to Hayden because I got company. So here we go. Destinated here shortly, about another 30 minutes on the WR, and I'll be home. But the nice thing about living in Route County is, and regardless of which direction I point the bike, I've got great riding to go. You know, out uh, further west, I've got Bernal, and off to my south, I've got New Mexico, and back east, if I want to head over to Cooper Canyon, and north, of course, I've got Wyoming and the Tetons and all that. Anyways, enjoyed the ride today. It's just great to just get out and ride. Been out, I don't know, five or six hours today anyways. And uh, just what, what I needed to get out and go on the WR. So anyways, folks, uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you here with the next video. And you all have a very good rest of the year. And hopefully this pandemic will go away and we can all get out and ride like we used to. And go out and travel. And, the trails so see y'all later bye bye now